Hello Pisces, this is Tara Queen Jamila and I am uh, pleased to be doing you guys' reading for September 2018 because you guys know what that means. It means that you guys are last but not least, so I am done with this series. So anyway, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. And also, if you are looking to hire a practitioner, the link to my website is below. Okay, you can go and get a consultation. All right. I am going to go ahead and call to the spirit guides and guardian angels. Spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels for the Pisces for September 2018. Okay, what are you seeing manifesting in the month of September? What are you seeing happening in general? What messages do you have for the Pisces for September of 2018? I'm going to be using the Witches Tarot deck. This is one of everybody's favorite. By the way, if you order a video reading, you guys can request what kind of, um, what deck you want me to use. So that's actually pretty cool. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Pisces, there's a relationship with either an air sign or a fire sign that is dwindling, it's decaying. <laughs> okay, now Five of Pentacles is not the best card to get in a reading. Nobody likes to get the Five of Pentacles. I don't like pulling that card. Uh, but I don't think that it necessarily has anything to do with your money, but more so with your health, more so with the way that you're feeling. It could be something to do with insecurity uh, surrounding a relationship with either, like I said, a fire sign or an air sign. And the reason why I know that is because it's the pages. So you can tell that whoever this is, they're immature. Okay, and for some reason, Pisces, you kind of have a little bit of an obsession with them. Okay, because the shining, the uh, the shadow side, I said the shining, <laughs> the shadow side comes up. Okay. So you can definitely see where there's a situation happening. Possible new relationship with an air sign in September. Spirits clarify the shadow side. Okay, so temperance. So this is an angel and then a devil. You're dealing with some kind of addiction in some kind of way, Pisces. Whether or not it's alcohol, whether or not it's other addictive behaviors, codependency, you could be addicted to a person. Okay, you can be addicted to a person, absolutely. So temperance comes up, and temperance represents... Um, Temperance represents balance. Okay, it represents balance and equilibrium and peace and patience, which is quite different from the shadow side. But temperance, so that's why I said it's got something to do with addiction affecting you in some kind of way. Um, when, when your family members are addicted and see this also could have something to do with an earth sign in particular, a Capricorn, but it could also be an earth sign that could have some kind of addiction problem. Spirit guides, give me some clarity on the page of swords. Addiction does affect people's personality. You did get the three of cups. So this is ancestors. I feel as though 
you know, this is good. I feel like you're actually being released from some kind of bondage is what I can sense, Re you know, being released or either cutting the cord. Now, why this five of pentacles shows up, but it, it makes sense because if you cut the cord from somebody, then you are going to have a void. So that's what they're saying. I, I was, I kept looking at it. <laughs> I kept looking at it and trying to figure it out. And that's what it is. Pisces, you're going to be released from some kind of bondage. So you can, and, but you can definitely tell that there's, there's probably going to be tears, tears of joy, possible tears of sadness or bewilderment, you know, feeling like you are releasing negative. Okay. And then you've got your ancestors and you've got spirit guides here that are showing up. You got the triple goddess is bringing you love and harmony and peace. But then you can see where it does create a void. Because then you no longer have that person to take care of, to look after. And that person is an aspect of self. So you are going to be released from some kind of bondage. I can see that. It's a bondage type relationship, possibly, that you're being released from in September. But like I said, the five of pentacles comes up, but then the three of pentacles comes up right next to it. So you can tell that the five of pentacles does represent that void that you feel, but you're going to have to fill it up. That's just like, you know, with my spirits, your spirit guides are saying to you, give me offerings. So you're also, that's an, if you were a Pisces and you came to me and I saw this reading, I would say, uh, you know, how much are you offering to your spirit guides? Because I know even for me, even sitting here doing readings, I made offerings to the spirits. Okay. So you, so I think that, you know, but I will tell you that the five of pentacles also represents when you're going through a rough time, and then you call to your ancestors because that's what they're there for. Spirit, give me some clarity on the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, I do believe that it has been somewhat of a struggle you are going to get good news, but it's so your finances are fine. I feel like your spirit guides are saying that the finances are going to turn out fine, but it's mainly that void inside of yourself. So you still want to check that because that can determine your money manifestation. That can determine what you manifest. So I feel like you need to do possibly some solar plexus work because naturally, naturally, when you separate from somebody like that, it's going to naturally create somewhat of a void. So things may get kind of, but then I do feel as though your energy is, you, you've got to call to those spirits that will lift you up. So these are uplifting spirits and uplifting energies coming from all these pentacles, okay? Especially the three of pentacles. <laughs> this is when you turn, you know, water into wine or you turn dirt into, you know, bread or something. You know what I'm saying? Like you may have been dealt a bad hand, but you make the best of it and then you even do better than what you thought. So you've got a lot of support coming up for the month of September. Okay. Anyway, um, I can also be your support system, Pisces. So you know where to reach me. The link is to my website is below. Love and light to you guys and blessed be.